we can talk a little bit about what is a Genius Academy and the word genius itself, what does that mean? Absolutely. See, the, uh, the concept of an academy uh, in the Western world, the earliest academy was started by Plato and Socrates was Plato's teacher. And in order to uh, make available the uh, genius of Socrates, Plato uh, started this university and he, uh, an academy, and exposed students to the highest um, science in the highest in philosophy, highest in literature, uh, really developing the student from within. And that was uh, started by Plato and Aristotle uh, later on uh, studied uh, under Plato in the academy. So that's the concept in the Western world. And in the in, if you look at the East, uh, in India, the earliest universities like Takshashila and Nalanda University, Vikramshila, these were not only uh, centers of learning uh, information about different subjects, but it was really about bringing the genius uh, and developing the whole brain uh, potential of the students. So the inner development and uh, education went hand in hand. And these were, this was the original concept of education. So that is the concept that we are bringing back now, but with an emphasis on uh, neuroscience and modern understanding of the brain and the mind and its potential, as well as uh, bringing, uh, bringing the highest in uh, different sciences and literature to enrich the students who join uh, in us in this uh, programs that we will do under the Genius Academy. And the way we explain a genius is someone who has extraordinary intelligence in a particular area or in a wide range of area. And uh, a simple way to understand a genius is someone who is able to see what others miss. I'll give you an example. Einstein was able to see the relationship between energy and matter. And that led to his discoveries. Tesla was able to see or perceive uh, how the uh, you know AC current works, and that led that led to his contribution uh, and several inventions that he did. Um, in the same way, you know, I, I, Newton, you know, uh, gravity, you know, the the story of the apple falling, you know. So we don't know whether the story is true or not. But if the apple fell and the apples have been falling from trees, but he had the ability to perceive that, well, why is the apple falling down? What is the force that is making it fall down, right? And these are some of the um, scientific, uh, you know, examples of genius. Look at uh, something like Uber, you know, I'll give a business example. Someone is able to conceptualize that, uh, why don't we press a button on an app and have a cab uh, come to our door to, uh, doorstep instead of going out and uh, hailing cabs and hoping a cab will stop, right? And that became a $50 billion plus dollar company. So someone, a genius is someone who is able to see what others miss. So that ability of perception is the foundation of genius. Uh, 